everybody, Camelia here. Welcome back to a new Patrones magazine flip through. Today we have issue 459 of Patrones magazine. And as we can see on the cover, they are promising us easy dresses. So before we start, please, please, please consider giving a like to this video. That's very, very important for my channel. And I always love to read your comments and your ideas about the patterns we are seeing in the magazine. So please consider a like and a comment. So let's take a look what we get in this issue. Well, a lot of summer garments, of course. There are some really nice dresses here. You can see an overview of the patterns. Um, and let's see the first one, the catwalk uh, design we get this month. is this pretty dress here. And of course, you know, when you see a pattern like this, and in my case here in Germany, we have a few days of really hot summer. Today was, well, for Germany at least, it was around 30 degrees here where I am. So it's really warm. So when I see a pattern like this, it's like, you know, I want to make it. I really want to make it. <laughs> but I know that I'm not going to wear something like this a lot. But nevertheless, I think it's a really pretty summer dress. So let's take a look a little bit at the details here. You can see the drawing. You cannot really make a lot of it, but I'll tell you in a minute what the, the, the construction is because I did see the pattern pieces. So if we are looking here at the model, and of course this is probably the original dress and not the one made by Patrones. Um, in this dress, first I was thinking that, let's change my color here, I was thinking that maybe we get here like a channel and also here on the sleeve, also a channel where you can um, feed really small spaghetti straps, but it's not like that. Actually, behind this, as you can see on the sleeve, is a little ruching, and if I'm not mistaken, this is getting added, or is the top of the sleeve, I'm not sure. But here also you see some ruching at the um, upper part of the of the neckline. And I think the back is, uh, we'll take a look at a moment. But actually there is no channel. On, on every part here, so here on this side, oops, I'm messing it up now. So you see that around the neckline and around the cap of the sleeve, there are actually small loops of fabric that they are getting sewn, well, something like this, and also on the sleeve, and also on the side, and these straps are getting actually fit through this, and I think it's something like an X, you know, like a string that you uh, usually do with, uh, with um, small loops. So this is how this is constructed. I think it's nice, but, I'm thinking now that probably also all this gathering here is happening, um, how much you are tightening it up, this, uh, this um, you can see it here, let's see. You can see here that it's really like an X going on, and then it's getting here, you can see the rest. So, an interesting design, the, the cuffs are also very interesting, I am not sure how they are made, they used here contrasting fabric, and also in Patrones, of course, they advise the same. So it's a very interesting design. Here you can see the back on the drawing. And also here there are those loops, I think. You know, I'm going to take a look at the pattern pieces. Let's take a look together. You can see them here. You can see that on the front you have the loops, these little markings here, and also on the sleeve. And also here, this is the back, I think. Um, as I was saying, the neckline, you can see here that there is there are pieces to make the little ruching around the neckline and the ruching around the cap of the sleeve. But I think this will be a really fun dress to make. Now I'm going to try to go back to my uh, overview, let's see. And let's go directly to the next dress. Next we have another really pretty summer dress, another one that you, if you are in a warmer climate, you just want to make it right now and wear it. This is also very pretty. Of course, this is more like a beach dress, you know, it's not something that you'll wear the whole day. As you can see, it has a really low cut. The front is really pretty also. 
and actually this one is also really easy to make. It has for the front only the uh, bodice piece that is cut double and then you have the skirt pieces and all those um, little uh, straps. Uh, next we have here a little bit more, um, how should I say, less comfortable <laughs> dress. This one, this pink one here on the left. And actually this is a mashup between a vest and a skirt. As you can see here, it's also um, lined, the skirt, and probably also the vest. From what I can see, I lost my button here. From what I can see here, the dress is, uh, or the skirt is separated at the center front uh, from the from the vest. So at the center front, there are separate garments, let's say. But for the rest, it's, they are together on the waist. Then we have pattern number four. This really pretty uh, white dress. Uh, it's a really oversized style, this one. Again, something that will be really nice in a warm uh, summer day. Uh, I, there's not a lot to say about it, but it's nice. Uh, next, I really, really, really love this dress. Uh, from what I could see on the pattern pieces, this is actually cut double, is a cotton voile and a cotton poplin. But I think you could definitely, and that's probably also what they used to finish the neckline, I'm realizing now. But um, maybe using facings or something like that could also be useful to avoid that double layer of fabric. But I think it's a really nice design. I really love this, this clean back. Oops, you see, messing it up. You can see the closure in the back. It has an invisible zipper here. And also this uh, strap closure in the back. I really love the thin straps here. I think this is really pretty. Very, very nice. Then we have a jacket. And I find that this jacket, and we'll get later a little bit similar one. I find that it's just a little bit out of the context. It's not something that, you know, even in a warmer summer day it's not really something that you put something like this if it's getting a bit chilly in the evening but um, i think you know for fall this is a really pretty jacket you can see here it has some really big pockets um a hidden button closure we can see it a little bit better here the pockets are really huge nice color well and that's it uh next what we have next next we have a pair of shorts and the vest the the vest we've seen just a few issues ago i think something really similar of course in in something in a garment like this the fabric is really the key here as you can see it's a really pretty fabric that they used um let's take a look at the shorts they have some really big pleats in the front um Let's see, where is my pen? You can see here that it has a little detail as a front closure. It has a slash pockets, we can see here, and some back pockets. I'm not sure if those are real or, you know, functional. But if I was to make this, I will make the pockets, but only for decoration and not, you know, with a pocket bag and all that. Uh, next, <laughs> I when I've seen this top first, I was thinking, well, look at this girl. She's laughing and she's something like, yeah, yeah, you should totally make this top and wear it. Because as you can see, she's already bursting, not bursting, you don't need to burst out of it. Because if it's going to be a little bit windy outside, then you lose your top definitely. So this top is uh, is really is is really is really dangerous. <laughs> it has a really low cut here in the back. The back you have a little bit of fabric in the back, but for the rest, uh, you know, your upper back is completely, um, yeah, naked. You know, but my problem is here. I find this is really very open and very dangerous. You know, for uh, wardrobe malfunctions. Then we have this skirt here and I was thinking well this is just a basic skirt you cannot see a lot but if we are looking in this small picture here 
you can see that actually there are some pleats and also here in the back you have two pleats and these pleats are incorporated in the skirt let's take a look at the pattern pieces and to get off my pen where is the skirt? We can go to the skirt here. And here you can see that it's not just whatever. The pleats are really incorporated into the, the, the skirt design in the pieces. It's really interesting. I've never seen skirt pieces looking like this. All right. Uh, let's see. Now I need to go back. And we were talking about that little skirt. Where is it? Here. Um, next we have uh, they call it here a coat you know this is some this this pattern 11 this is something that usually would be really really easy to make but of course we are talking about patrones garments and then they are presenting us something with laces and inserts and all that so of course if you have the patience and the fabric this could be a really pretty garment it's really nice here styled with these blue pants very nice um let's see the pants are just really simple pants i suppose there will be somewhere a zipper yes this is invisible zipper in the left side and they also don't have a lot to say about it just basic pants finished probably with a facing in the waist as you can see they have a really clean waist then we have another really pretty dress i really like this one this one is made in linen it's white, it's a little bit difficult to see here. Um, where is my pen? I'm loving the really thin spaghetti straps again. And here, actually, the upper part of the bodice is finished with this little bend here, which is cut double. So this is cut double and then attached to the dress. It's really nice. It's really difficult to see in this, in this white. But I really love the, the shape of this dress. And also the back. I mean, it's also very, very pretty. Very summery, of course. Next, 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 we have um, a dress and a jacket. You can see the jacket here. As I said, this is pretty similar to the other one, although I think this one is less oversized. We can make it a little bit bigger. But yeah, it's pretty similar. This one is lined from what I can see in the pictures. And then the pretty yellow dress here, they are uh, on the on YouTube. You'll find also a sewing tutorial for it. Um, they used a pre-pleated fabric here. I wonder if you could use any other kind of fabric for this. Probably yes. But a pre-pleated fabric, fabric like this is, is looking really nice, of course. Well, it's a simple dress. I have, don't have a lot to say. They use for the neckline. They used. Uh, um, I've seen the video, and the the girl that made the video, she's uh, it's a, it's a braided um, band that she used, you know, to around the neckline. It's a nice detail. Then we have the navy style, and we have here um, a pair of pants. High, pretty high waisted from what I can see here. Kind of like them. It's a nice uh, shape. Then we have pattern number 17, which is a really easy um, cardigan. You can see the drawing here. And I'm so, you know, I really don't know what is this. I, I see here a detail and I wonder how this is made and I wonder if this is in any way translated into the pattern that we get i am not sure i don't know what what that is but it's looking really interesting also the um, you can see here the shirt the the the, the, um, the top well in this top here you can see that they have some pleats and first i was thinking that maybe something went wrong with the bastards but they are talking that there are pleats in this in this top Although, if I, when I'm watching here, I see that the pleats are a little bit at the uh, level of the, the, the high bust, of the high bust, the full bust. But when I'm watching here, I'm seeing the pleats actually a little bit under the bust. 
So, you know, that will be something to, to keep in mind. Uh, the pants. Well, I'm not a big fan of the pants. I cannot see how long in the waist they are. Um, yeah, a pair of pants. Uh, yeah, I don't know what to say about these pants. I'm just going to go further. We have here a pair of uh, um, jeans. Do, the, these ones are made in well this, this i think this is this is just a denim but of course this this is probably the original uh, denim pant uh we do not get the that little top let's go further i wonder and if you are a long subscriber for patrones maybe you'll know that i wonder if this pattern see uh, also these ones if they are not repeats they are looking to me so familiar especially this red jacket here on the right jacket 21 uh, i have the feeling that i've seen these patterns before maybe i'm wrong i don't know but you you are a lot of people that are watching this video i'm really curious if these are repeats um then we have another vest here and another pair of pants you know we got millions of vests from um patroness Nothing to say about this anymore. This is a really simple dress with a really cool fabric that they used. Um, they used the front and the back. They used the same pieces also for to um, for the um, lining of the dress. So that's also in the instructions. Next, we have this blouse here on the left, blouse twenty five, which is a really pretty one. Um, apparently also for this one is a tutorial on YouTube. Uh, the tutorials are, are, in Sp are in Spanish. And uh, so if there is something, maybe you can get there also some, some ideas. But I wanted to say, you know, I was saying that I'm using Patrones actually a lot of for inspiration these days. And, you know, I'm, I'm very careful when I'm trying to make something from Patrones. I always need to make a test garment. But I was thinking this this trend with the um, ties in the front, these blouses that are getting close to it, ties in the front, this is a very popular trend. I've seen so many. And I made also one from Sew Over It, the Maeve uh, blouse, which is gorgeous. And I was thinking, if you want to make this blouse, if you really like this, and I wonder, this is so stupid. I mean, you can see that in the picture here that the blouse has also a nice detail on the sleeve but we cannot see that in this picture this is really stupid um, if you really like this blouse and you want to have a little bit of coverage there in the front that you don't show skin and you can also wear a bra and stuff like that you can make um, a piece of fabric that is let's see where is my pen you can make a rectangle of fabric that it will go here behind one of the on the left or on the right let's see it's it's going to wrap uh, right over left so you sew this on your left side as worn and you have it like a shield you know that is not going if the blouse is getting a little bit open you will not show skin you know if you want to avoid that um on the right we have uh, another pair of pants basic pants and of course we had to get also a blazer this is the blazer for this month so much to say about this you know the top is looking really cool though very nice um next 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 we of course we had to get also a shirt and this is the shirt for this month <laughs> really simple it has a yoke in the back i've seen the pattern pieces and i think it's it's really oversized i wonder if it's really oversized like this or it's just too big for the model it's really hard to say and a pair of pants Made in linen. Kind of cool. Hmm. I don't know what to say. It's really strange that they show us a shirt like this. I'm not... I, ah. I'm just going to go on. Uh, dress number 30. Again, a gorgeous fabric they used here. Very, very beautiful. This is a crochet, crochet fabric. Um, of course, it's something that you'll buy uh, in the fabric store. Unless you are very good at crochet and you crochet it yourself. Okay, further, we have a really pretty dress here. I really like this one. This one is made in a cotton sat 
setting very beautiful really simple um, here we have one of those uh, barrel pen style you see here there are some really nice details there is actually this is really nice it's really hard to see actually but here the cuff has also a placket you know like you have in a in a shirt with the buttons very interesting and there is also an insertion here on the or on the side seam on the side of the pant very nice let's take a look a little bit so there are pleats as you can see at the bottom of the pant there are a few pleats and also here up there are a few pleats this is actually a really cool pair of pants oh i really love that closure at the bottom very nice i think i will consider something like this hmm. maybe taking a good look at the volume that they are not really and of course for something like this you'll need something really very very soft with all the the volume from the pleats um a really simple dress here tank dress very simple nothing to say about this one some uh, uh, a rounded hem um then we have another pair of pants Oh my god these ones are these ones are really oversized god that that crotch is really i don't know i mean it must be till here oh. yes okay i'm just going to go on yeah then we get the uh, plus size patterns and we get these are a little bit disappointing i must say um we get a t-shirt with a cut on sleeve hmm i don't know what to say about this one and a pair of shorts made in linen shorts are kind of nice the top is just lazy yeah uh we get a shirt dress also this one is not very spectacular um yeah i don't know what to say about this this is just so simple and boring and then we get here another uh dress this dress i'm a little bit um uh, well this one is made in a kind of silk it's very crinkly probably the fabric is like that and i wonder the um, i've seen the pattern pieces for the um, for the cuffs of the sleeves as you can see here the sleeves are getting finished with the cuff and i wonder there are some um, pleats somewhere on this um, cuff and I wonder if this is supposed to fold over like this because of those pleats or it's just, you know, I don't know, the fit is not right. I am not sure. But I'm not a big fan of this fabric, I must say. And that was it. We get also some uh, kids patterns. I'm just going to go briefly over these ones. A little bit of shearing at the top. Here, another one. The patterns are for sizes 2, 4 and 6 years old. Some more cutiness. And that was it, guys. Um, well, I must say that there are some very pretty dresses in this issue. Of course, beautiful fabrics again. Um... I'm very intrigued about the construction of this dress, you know, the one with the, all the loops around the neckline and around the, the arm, uh, the, the, the sleeves. Very nice. Uh, my favorites, of course, the white one, or actually both white dresses. Their dresses 5 and 13 are really, really nice. And uh, yeah, these pants, they are very, uh, they are really um, interesting, especially with, with all those splits down the leg and also with that uh, with that closure and you know what um i'm going to take a look to see if actually that if the pattern is also following that um you know the style that we've seen with the with the white cuffs and the placket at the bottom and i have my phone and i'm just going to take a look at pattern 32 to see if that's also um yeah actually they have it also the 
the pattern is made to have that cuff with a placket on the side of the pants. So that's really interesting. Yeah, that's really nice. And also they, in the, um, in the materials, they say that you will need about one meter 80 of that um, uh, for the for the side uh, band, you know, that decorative uh, insert. So this was it, guys. I hope you find some inspiration from this uh, Patronus. Um, I surely do. I have more seen uh, more more. What should I say? Um, I'm ready for the summer, and I am sewing for summer. So all these pretty dresses are only helping. So I hope you enjoyed this flip through. Don't forget, I will come soon with the new Buddha and the new clip of the magazine. Take care, everyone. Bye.